Hi, Brad Bingham here with Bingham Built Bikes and Kent Erickson Cycles. And I'm just gonna show off a little, little tiny bit of the shop today. So I get a lot of questions from folks asking why there's a well at the top of our seat tubes. So here it is. And it's because we machine and press in a heavy wall tube to reduce the inside diameter of the seat tube so that it will fit your 27.2 seat post or a 30.9 seat post. So now I'm gonna show you the little tool that I designed and built uh, that we performed that weld on. So it's uh, over here. It's all set up at the moment. Uh, here's our seat tube that's been purging with some argon gas for a little while. And we just slide it in here to the centering vise and then line it up and into our collet. Tighten up the centering vise. And now we need to wait about a minute, minute and a half. Um, so I can tell you about the machine. It uses a Miller inverter um, Dynasty TIG welding machine. Uh, here's our torch. And again, this is a, also a part that I make here in the shop. It's a custom gas lens specifically for welding titanium. Um, and then the rotary welder is built with, a <laughs> built with the ability to position the part using a DT Swiss star ratchet free hub mounted to the little DC motor. And it has a speed control as well with our little tachometer. That's about it. Uh, so we use this machine for welding seat tubes, obviously, and things like SNS couplers and such. So we're ready to go, and we do still have to use our welding helmet. So it takes about a minute and 10 seconds or so to perform the weld. And then we have about 20 seconds of post flow argon gas uh, surrounding the weld area. And the machine is counting down just a couple more seconds. And once that shuts off, then we can pull out our high-tech foam purge line, loosen up the centering vise slide out our completed product so yeah it's the only it's the only automated weld on the bike I promise <laughs> 